I have a question that is dovetailing on what you just said. Yeah. I had a vision, and it was very reaffirming to hear that I was at a place where a vision just popped, and it was magnificent. Yes. And now, and I'm... remember the feeling of it. Remember mm -hmm. that powerful feeling of it, that elation of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then? And then I started on the journey, and then. I started on the journey sometimes you take action too soon mm -hmm. sometimes once you get a vision then you set out to make it happen our friend was talking about that just a little bit mm -hmm. so what we're talking about here is understanding what's happened this is why we want you to understand what's happened we want you to understand that life caused you to create even when you didn't know you were and life caused you to launch vibrational rockets even though you didn't know you were and those vibrational rockets were assembled and gathered by law of attraction and what we began calling your vortex even though you didn't know it was happening and your inner being joined that and held attention to it and caused law of attraction to draw to it more and more as your vision became more and more and more but it had to move from the thought to the thing before it could become your vision it had to turn from the vibration before it could become the thought so let's call the thought and the vision the same thing so here it is a vibration an imperceptible untranslatable vibration that had to cook a little bit before it became robust enough that it became big enough that it became perceivable enough that we could even call it a thought and once it was a thought a vision a thought a vision a thought a desire a thought a vision a desire now it's got so much momentum going it is going to become a reality for someone and most likely for you unless you think in opposition to it and I find myself maybe and what doing causes that. you to think in opposition to it it's too hard it's too late it takes too much work I don't have enough support nobody's ever done that before it's pie in the sky what's the matter with me or you talk to some realist that just because it doesn't exist now they won't support your vision Jerry wrote a paper called keep your ideas to yourself until they are fully developed because he knew you could have a vision and if you talk to somebody who wasn't up to speed with you and your vision that they would talk you out of your vision they'll do it every time they will make you face reality and they will make you feel like a fool when really all that's happening is you just let go of the robustness of your vision you can get it back though you can get it back because once it's there it's always there for you and you know why your inner being never stops thinking about it never stops knowing it never stops being it and never stops projecting it to you but you got to be somewhere in the vicinity of it before the next idea comes and the next and the next have you ever said oh got the best idea I used to think about that a lot and haven't thought about it in a long time and now I'm thinking about it again they don't go away they're there for you you just got to get happy to return to your past and current visions so that you can enjoy the deliciousness of your visions oh because you see we had fun you don't know it but we had fun as you put the pieces in there we had fun watching them all come together because we could perceive them vibrationally you couldn't but we could so we were having fun watching it become watching it become watching it become that's why we say to you you have more in your vortex it would keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes just what you've got going on in there now but then law of attraction makes it more and more and more and more and more and when it becomes your vision when the idea occurs to you when the desire is received by you now the real fun of watching the continuing progression of it is even more when the vibration was becoming a thought not so fun for you fun for us now the thought is becoming a thing that's what rings your bells ours too but that's what rings your bells you're getting this aren't you I get the part where thoughts become the thing and I have the vision the thought yeah and it's moved and then I lose momentum so well, that's just because you're countering it with other thoughts that's all there's not another force that's pushing back against your momentum it's you diverging into another direction in other words you're the only one that can add resistance to your stream you're the only one that can add the resistance it might be in response to something that you're observing 
but you're the only one who is doing it and you can tell the other day really recently Esther opened her emails and she saw an email and she said I'm not gonna open that I'm not even gonna open that because she knew when she opened it that there was gonna be resistance for her to overcome and so she didn't open it till the next day and then she opened it and then she found the resistance and she thought I shouldn't have opened that <laughs> shouldn't have opened that I knew I shouldn't I knew I knew I knew I shouldn't no, I shouldn't have but I did well now she knows it even more next time she has that feeling I shouldn't open it she's not gonna open it oh she might she'll open it. She might open it she's like most of you she has a great capacity for suffering <laughs> unnecessary but you all sort of have a capacity for suffering all self-inflicted yeah so if I have this vision and I keep the momentum going by listening and not encountering resistance you don't have to keep the momentum going okay it will means. continue to go unless you do something that slows it down and when you do that thing you do that slows it down there's always negative emotion present so that's why we say it is so simplistic you all say it too it's too simplistic Abraham don't say all I have to do is keep good thoughts and I'm gonna feel happily ever after that's it all you have to do is find a way to feel good you say but there's stuff in the world that doesn't feel good and we say we know it's because you had these thoughts and you created that stuff you had these thoughts and you created that stuff but don't just keep talking about that stuff because you just keep creating more of that stuff in other words those thoughts keep turning into more things too you get to decide how it feels you get to decide what you want to create you get to decide and you can't stop thinking a thought all at once there is momentum in it so be nice go general be nice to yourself about it well this thought doesn't feel very good let's say that something is turning out not the way you want it to and you are now acknowledging that it's turning out not the way you want it to because the thoughts that you've been thinking are just slow so it's that's sort slow. of like a not very good feeling that you're pronouncing on yourself oh I did this to me I did this to me and I got what's coming to me and I deserve this and that law of attraction thing it gave me something that I didn't want so there you are let's say that's how you're feeling so then you can go general and you can say yes however in the process of that I've launched more rockets and I put more into my vortex and I got a lot clearer and I'm more sure about what I want now and I'm making better decisions now than I've ever made before and things are getting better and better for me and I'm doing really good at this and I'm not meant to be the one exception to the law of attraction where I've got momentum going on something and all of a sudden I can just stop it I can gradually allow myself to think more in the direction of what I'm wanting I'm just going to gently lean in the direction of feeling better about more things and for now I'm gonna stay off this subject altogether because there's too much momentum that I've got going so I'll just do my best not to think about that and what you begin to notice each morning when you wake up when your momentum is slower about everything that in those early moments that when a thought comes to you that you can tell right from the beginning is not a thought that you really want to spend time on you can turn the other cheek you can you can turn in the direction of something that feels better to you you can but you got to catch it early and if you don't don't beat up on yourself just watch it play out and once again pronounce to yourself well I saw that coming I felt this way and it turned to that thought and it turned to that thought and it turned to that thought and it turned to that thing that's the most logical thing in the world I sure like how this goes not one of you expects to jump off your roof and fall up <laughs> nobody says oh there's a kite in the tree I'll go get it and you don't go get it you go down because law of gravity is a very consistent law in your universe and so is law of attraction it always plays out exactly as it feels so what we are really asking of you is to first care about how you feel next recognize that you are a vibrational being and that your vibrations matter and that the reason that you feel anything ever good or bad good feeling or not good feeling the reason that you ever feel anything is because your inner being has this opinion and you have a varying opinion and if your opinion is in sync with the source within you you feel wonderful and if it's in contradiction to it you feel terrible so doesn't it follow then that if you are having some unpleasant feeling thoughts about something that you might just stop and say oh my inner being doesn't feel this way about it and I think for now I'm just gonna give this subject a break because if you give any subject a break long enough it won't be active in your vibration so you want to keep the things that you want to come active in your vibration and you want to let the things that you don't want to come be deactivated so then you say okay well I'll just say yes to these things and no to these things we say it doesn't work that way because yes 
brings the thing that you're saying yes to to you and no brings the thing that you're saying no to to you there's no yes and no it's just attention to it watch your children they are perfectly deliberately and wisely evasive with you hmm. try to pin them down you did that didn't you huh? <laughs> tell me the truth tell me the truth of your current reality and in doing so prevent yourself from moving into a better place that's what adults are saying to children tell me the exact truth of where you're standing and we say don't do it don't do it tell me exactly what is tell me exactly what is well they feel naturally evasive about it because they innately know that continuing to beat the drum of this unwanted thing first of all doesn't feel good and that's the singular reason that they don't want to keep going there but there's a bigger reason it's gonna get bigger it's not gonna get smaller can I ask you a question if indeed I let the thoughts that aren't working for me go and I want to know what steps I need to take or people that I need to bring into my life to assist me in this vision so listen to this so are we accepting that the desire is there that your inner being knows about the desire and knows all the wonderful experiences to get you from the desire that is a thought to the desire that is a thing are we in agreement that your inner being does know what the path of least resistance is and can you accept that if there is any resistance on this path of least resistance that you have and are putting it there so your inner being is guiding you around your resistance not judging the resistance not condemning it not mad that the resistance is there simply acknowledging that the resistance is there and guiding you to where you want to be in and under and around and through and over and under the resistance that you've put there so are you still with us that inner being is guiding you toward everything that you want mm -hmm. so since that is always true that your inner being knows always where you are in relationship to everything that you want doesn't it seem prudent that your singular intention would be in connection with your inner being so that you can receive the impulses about that you see what we're getting at when you know and this is the part that you don't know the way we know and so things that seem really obvious to us don't seem quite so obvious to you you see we know that your vortex did its job and that your desire that your vision has now been accomplished and we know that what comes next is the full satisfying fruition of it we know all of that and so it's so logical to us that you would think the thoughts that allow that unfolding to happen Esther remembers she and Jerry had little chickens they got them from the feed store and they got them from an incubator and none of them had ever known their mother or their father they just were little hatched furry things and they took them home they didn't have feathers yet they just fur and when a butterfly flew over the little rooster went Rrr. well later when that little rooster became a big rooster he made a similar sound when the hawk flew over he was just born knowing it seemed he was just born knowing well he was born knowing because he wasn't doing anything in his little beingness that caused him to not know